From the origin of the famous black fur hats to how to pass out if you get sick, here are 10 incredible things you don't know about the British Royal Guard. Let's get started. The Queen's Guards wear red uniforms or gray coats in the winter, as well as massive black hats. Everyone knows that. But do you know the origin of these furry hats known as bearskin? Well, it is said that during the war against the French at the Battle of Waterloo, the British soldiers tried everything to intimidate the enemy. But as they had no means to do so, they decided to wear the hats that belonged to the defeated grenadiers of the Imperial Guard of Napoleon I. In this way, they managed to intimidate the enemy troops by looking bigger and scarier too. Well, these hats made them a bit bulky and warm because in case you didn't know, they are made from the fur of Canadian black bears. Also, these hats that are still worn today require strong necks that can support their weight during the day. And how? These hats measure up to 46 centimeters and weigh some 680 grams, but the Queen's Guards eventually got used to them. Moreover, these emblematic hats give these soldiers a lot of presence, and we could hardly imagine Her Majesty's Guards without this imposing headgear. The soldiers of the Royal Guard never smile while on duty. Indeed, although they sometimes feel like smiling for a selfie that a tourist takes with them or laughing for some joke that is told to them, they simply are not allowed to do so. That's right. The soldiers of the Royal Guard are always marbled so that with time, nothing can make them smile. But to achieve this, they need a lot of effort because they have to be very resistant to tourist jokes. And then, according to some sources, they would be fine if they dared to show their teeth. Well, these guards get used to it with time. Even if sometimes it must be said, their resistance can be lacking. But it is true that this particular impassive air made these soldiers quite funny in spite of themselves. Do you like this video? Then don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all notifications and not miss anything of our next publication. Let's continue. The British Royal Guard has a lot of strict rules to follow. However, that does not mean that the Queen's Guards have to stay strict all the time. Because the truth is that these soldiers like to have some fun once in a while. As strange as it may sound, they sometimes know how to do it very well. That's right. In some ceremonies, such as the changing of the guards, they can play fun tunes outside of the traditional military music, like movie music, for example. Listen, for example, how these soldiers play with perfection the music of the movie Indiana Jones. This way, they can entertain themselves a bit and everyone who watches. A little humor won't hurt either, as long as it doesn't cross the line, of course, or they'll end up paying for it. Fortunately, that's not likely to happen because these guards know their rules perfectly. But at least it ended up making them look less stoic in our eyes, right? When on duty, the Queen's guards don't talk, although they sometimes feel like saying a few words to tourists who are having fun provoking them. However, under certain circumstances, the soldiers in red may have to speak, or rather shout in order. When tourists or pedestrians get in their way, for example, the guards can shout their famous, My wife, the Queen's guard! In this way, not only do they manage to keep the crowd away, but they also manage, finally, to make their vocal cords vibrate. And they find it quite amusing, according to one of the guards who was interviewed. However, it could get them into a little trouble with the crowd, who would not hesitate to approach them again or do anything to hear them speak again. However, the guards were content to ignore them and continued on their way without stopping and without being provoked, even if it meant shoving the most daring ones. Nevertheless, they will have broken the silence, and that will have made them rather joyful, at least for a few seconds. Her Majesty's guards march in ceremonial parades all the time and train hard to make sure everything goes perfectly, but sometimes they can face difficult conditions like cold or heat. Imagine them marching in the warm uniforms and heavy fur hats in the hot sun. Generally, these guards try to forget about their difficulties and they end up doing their duty properly. But this can sometimes cause them some discomfort, such as fainting. In fact, many guards have found themselves face down in the middle of a parade because of the heat. You probably wondered why guards who faint end up in this position, right? Well, simply because they are trained to do so. Besides, falling head first would prevent disruptions during the parade and allow the other guards to continue without their comrade. Wow! Now that's what you have to call having style while fainting. But fortunately, these poor guards are evacuated in time to receive the necessary treatment, and they often end up back at their posts, but they still get a lot of sympathy. Her Majesty's guards stay at their post for as long as it takes. Now and then, they may want to go to the little corners and relieve themselves. By the way, do you know where the toilets are for these soldiers? Well, they don't have one. So how do they relieve themselves? It's very simple. 
they relieve themselves standing up in their pants without leaving their posts. And that's it. This way they can satisfy their natural needs without any problem. Yes, but imagine the embarrassment and especially the shame they might feel if people pass by them and take a curious look at their wet pants. We could imagine tourists laughing at them and pointing their fingers at their soaked pants. But actually, there is nothing like that because these scars are wearing dark woolen pants that are thick enough not to let anything show. Well, that's a very practical solution. However, because of this, these poor guards sometimes find themselves the center of mockery. Like all soldiers in the world, the Queen's Guard are also armed, of course. In this way, they hope to intimidate passerbys and those who would dare to stand in their way. But as strange as it may seem, they almost never shoot because their weapons are usually unloaded. Or rather, they may have live ammunition, but only when necessary. And when these soldiers sense a nearby threat, for example, during the parades or other ceremonies, the Queen's Guards carry their assault rifles on their shoulders, making it look like they are really armed. In this way, they manage to ward off any possible threat to ensure their own protection and that of the Queen, of course. They can give them a rather frightening image, but only for a moment, as the guards immediately return to their post and their usual serenity. However, although the Queen's Guards rarely use their weapons, they can only inspire a kind of intimidating respect. The Queen's Guards are first and foremost military, we agree. But what you may not know is that when these soldiers wanted to join the British Royal Guard, they first had to pass a test just like any other soldier, and not just any test. Indeed, this test called the British Army Recruit Battery or simply BARB test, is a computerized test used by the British Army and which is essentially based on psychometry. Indeed, the main objective of the BARB test is to examine candidates by evaluating their aptitudes, particularly their intelligence and analytical skills. So you get the idea. Before they could serve the Queen, these soldiers in red uniform and long black fur hats took this test and passed. They have thus succeeded in becoming members of the prestigious guard of Her Majesty. But for this, they had to show a lot of skills and efforts by solving problems that require logic. However, with the position they now hold, this test is nothing more than an old memory for them. But you can imagine how proud the Queen's Guards must have felt after passing the Barb Test. Many soldiers in the British Royal Guard have long dreamed of serving the Queen by joining this prestigious unit. But to do so, they must, of course, meet many criteria, pass the test, and meet all the to be able to hold a position in the British Royal Guard. These people then do everything to meet the requirements, and with a bit of luck, they end up landing in the British Royal Guard and getting their dream job, donning the famous red uniforms and wearing the long black fur hat. However, no matter how much these soldiers achieve their dreams, they can easily find themselves in situations that are much less pleasant than one might think. Well, you only have to see their standing position and their impassive air all day long to understand that these guards are bored. That's right. Although their duty is to watch over the castle and protect the queen, they often stand still and have to stay that way for a long time. When there is no ceremony or where they are not going to see a member of the royal family or some other celebrity, these soldiers often find themselves doing nothing. So how do they beat the boredom and stay busy? Well, it's very simple. They find all kinds of games and distractions that could entertain them a little and occupy their minds for a good while. They can sing the words of a song in silent mode without moving their lips, watch a movie from beginning to end, observe the tourists who come to see them, or simply be satisfied with the short walk they take every 10 minutes. However, one could say that by staying busy almost all the time, watching and inventing distractions, these people must have developed a better imagination than most of us. Many tourists visit one of the Queen's castles every day to get an idea of the interior of the royal residences. However, seeing Her Majesty's soldiers in the red uniforms and black fur hats, standing with their faces in marble fascinates many. Besides some of the tourists, the most daring and disrespectful among them often try to make these guards move and provoke them, hoping to make them go out of their way. Sometimes they succeed, but oftentimes they end up regretting in the next second because Her Majesty's guards can remove the troublemaker by shouting at them to back off or even threatening them if necessary. If such an incident occurs, the tourists will quickly move away to get out of sight of these guards who suddenly become threatening, but at least they will understand forever that one does not have fun with the guard of His Majesty. That's right, these guards are not toy soldiers. You've just discovered 10 things you didn't know about the British Royal Guard. Which of these secrets amused, surprised, or shocked you the most? Do you know any other secrets about the Queen's Guards? Leave your answer and impressions in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.